G'day crypto goers, particularly my Australian crypto brothers and sisters, some very exciting news from CoinSpot as we can see they are the first NFT marketplace in Australia. This is so simple, I'm going to go through the announcement and how we buy NFTs through CoinSpot. Welcome back or to the channel where as always a free and easy way of supporting this work is by simply hitting that like button, subscribing if you're new, ensuring you also knock that notification bell so you never miss a new episode. Also watch out for the bots in the comments below. I will never ask you to contact me via Telegram or WhatsApp. They are scammers. Stay away. Okie dokie, let's get into it because this is some really exciting stuff. First of all, allow me to read the notice from the good people at CoinSpot. It says, NFTs are now easily accessible to Australians looking to get into this exciting space. Buy NFTs in in seconds using any crypto on CoinSpot. That's a big one. Using any crypto on CoinSpot. If you're not familiar with what an NFT is, it is a non-fungible token and they are a collectible digital asset that uses blockchain to validate ownership. Each NFT is unique and cannot be duplicated, making them rare and collectible. Now, before I read on, allow me to say I am not being paid for this video. I am a huge fan of CoinSpot. I do have an affiliate link, which would be very much appreciated if you used it. But if not, that's OK. In any case, CoinSpot is a site that I deeply trust. I've been using for many years, and this is just another example of how this site just keeps getting better and better. Well done, CoinSpot. As I read your mission, CoinSpot's mission is to remove the technical barrier and make crypto accessible to all Australians. We're continuing that mission with NFTs. NFTs are typically difficult to buy, as there's a number of steps someone needs to take. CoinSpot has removed these complexities and made purchasing NFTs simple. Just how easy? Simply go to the NFT tab, browse the curated selection of NFTs and click purchase. In a world first, you can use any crypto on CoinSpot to buy the NFTs on offer. And I'm going to buy an NFT with you right now, my crypto brothers and sisters, and I've already decided I'm going to use Litecoin, a coin that I'm a huge fan of, and I have a little bag of it that we can go shopping with, and I'm going to buy an NFT with you right now. Alrighty then, let's buy our first NFT on CoinSpot. Here you can see we're on my dashboard. If you haven't joined CoinSpot yet, again, I'd appreciate it if you use the link below. That will help me help you at no cost to you, and it will also ensure you're not going to a shadow site. But in any case, once you've logged on and you're on your dashboard, look what they've done here. They've just added this little NFT tab here in true CoinSpot style, smooth, classy, easy, and efficient. Here I've clicked on that tab. I'm now in the art gallery, if you will. Here we have all the collections that they have available. I'm sure over time we're going to see that these collections will increase. But for now, I'm just going to buy an Australian open art ball. I simply scroll down to this collection, press view. You can see all the balls available here and they've got the prices available as well. And the ball I was going to buy before, it looks like it's already sold out. So I'll have to get this ball. I mean, you can go down through all the prices here. Basically, it appears that they're all listed in pricing order. That is the cheap ones are at the top and the very expensive ones are down the bottom. And this is quite consistent with all the art collections they have out there. And as you can see, it's just pretty simple. So let's buy a ball right now, an NFT Australian open open art ball. I press on this one, view NFT. Here we can see that this one's got 29 days, 20 hours and 52 minutes remaining. We can scroll down and see a bit of a description here. The main thing that I'm looking at is that there's 6,776 generative art pieces to this art collection. That's from the Australian Open Court. And I'm just going to buy it now by simply pressing buy now. Here we can see this picture of a ball. I know it sounds terrible when you say it that way. It's just a picture that I'm about to spend $263 on, but this is the world of NFTs. And as you know, there are way more expensive NFTs than 263 Australian dollars. But as I mentioned before, this is the really exciting part, besides it being so simple, is that I'm actually gonna buy it with Litecoin. So I click on Litecoin, I press buy NFT. I check my work here. So this is my balance. This is the fee. This is interesting. It's a zero 0.9% fee. So it's less than 1% to do that. And then you have your network processing fee, which is a third of a Litecoin. So overall, I'm going to pay 2.12 Litecoin for this ball. I press confirm buy. The order is processing. Now, obviously in the background here, they are converting my Litecoin to Ethereum 
pushing it through the Ethereum algorithm and there it is, it's complete. So now I have purchased an NFT within seconds on CoinSpot. So where is my NFT? Well, here you can see you go to view NFT wallet and there it is. That is my NFT. So I have just purchased digital art in a matter of seconds on CoinSpot. If I want to find my NFT art collection, if I was on my dashboard again, I would click on NFT up here and I would click then on my NFT wallet, which shows my NFT collection here. Here I can view that NFT, and if I wanted to sell it, I just add to a listing below. And then my piece of art is for sale. I can list my price here, and then I can list it for sale. This is the easiest NFT site I have seen anywhere in the crypto land. Well done to you, CoinSpot. This is absolutely brilliant. I'm so impressed. There is no doubt in my mind that many competitors will be following suit in what you've done. I've just purchased an NFT within seconds using Litecoin. Now remember, that's just the coin of my choice in this example. You could go to any collection here. You might have heard of the Board 8 Yacht Club, which I'm sure many of you have heard. The floor price, that's pretty much the minimum, which is, that's a lot. Look at that, it's 105 ETH for one Board Ape Yacht Club NFT. Let's just have a quick look at that for fun. We'll click view. Here we can see, yes, that's the lowest price, 105 Ethereum. I can view that NFT if I wanted to buy that NFT. This has only got five hours left. I'd click buy now. You can see it's listed for 105 Ethereum, which is the equivalent of nearly half a million Australian dollars. Think about that, half a million dollars for this image. Still, there's a market out there. Whether you think that's silly or not, it's not what we think. It's what the market is prepared to pay. And if I chose to proceed with this, I would click on the little drop down menu and choose which coin I was going to buy this NFT with. Noting I don't have half a million dollars on this site, I just mathematically could not buy this NFT. But in any case, some people do want to pay the big dollars for the big NFTs. And this is an example of how you could do it. Once again, CoinSpot, this is absolutely fantastic. You never cease to amaze me. Well done to you and the team for putting this together. If you do want to learn more about CoinSpot, check out my links below or top right, where I take you through a step-by-step -step guide of how to use this program. I'm certain over time we're going to see the collections list expand and change as so many people are releasing different collections within the NFT space. That's all I've got for now, but if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm Adam Stokes. Thanks for listening. Happy investing. Well done, CoinSpot. And I'll talk to you next time.